Welcome, once again. I'm Mr. Panache, your guide in classical menswear and savoir Today we'll be reviewing our second knot in the series How to Tie a Tie. In our first iteration, we saw the Windsor knot. And today we'll be discussing a simpler, yet slightly more debonair knot. None other than the Kelvin knot. The Kelvin knot is a tribute to mathematician and physicist William Thomson, also known as Lord Kelvin. But the Kelvin knot is a contemporary creation, and it's highly unlikely that it was ever worn by Lord Kelvin. The only reason for which the Kelvin knot is a tribute to him in the first place is because of his remarkable work in knot theory. But aside from that, that's pretty much it. The Kelvin knot is a debonair, very easy knot to wear. And without further ado, let me show you how it's properly done. You'll pick both ends of the tie as such, but this time the opposite side of the tie will be facing forward. So, take the bigger end and cross it below the shorter end, forming an X, like this. Afterwards, the process is fairly simple. Take the big end and loop it forward one time, like this, one time. Now, repeat the process a second time. Remember that you can guide yourself by placing a finger just below the loop if you find it difficult to manage. There we go. Now we have a second loop. After you perform the second loop, take the bigger end of the tie, which is now facing on the front side, and push it towards the hole in the neck. Like this. Now, once again, with the big end, you'll pass it through the hole that was created by putting those two loops in the first place. So now, get the front end, you secure the loops, and you pull downwards. Keep pulling. So now, you have the Kelvin knot. Adjust it, tighten it up, and that's it. And there you go. You can see the knot is pretty simple to perform. It's debonair, stylish, and similar to its cousin, the four in hand, it is a little bit more symmetrical. As you can appreciate here. If you are interested in a different type of knot, slightly more formal, slightly bulkier, I recommend you take a look at my previous video, the Windsor Knot. We'll be seeing each other further on in this series to discuss different type of ties for different occasions. Never forget, I'm Mr. Panache, your guide in classical menswear and savoir faire. Be seeing you.